We all know Gmail. It's easy and convenient that everyone can use it. But have you ever wondered if there's a better way to manage your emails? Enter Thunderbird, an open-source email client that gives you control. Unlike Gmail, Thunderbird lets you fully customize your interface, manage your inbox how you want to, and even use it with any email provider. If you're used to Google's workspace, Gmail might still be your go-to. But if you want flexibility and customization, Thunderbird could be the upgrade you didn't know you needed. And it's not about which is better. It's about what fits your style. So let's talk about why you should pick Thunderbird for your emails, and also when you shouldn't. If you're looking for an email client that's more flexible than Gmail, Thunderbird is worth checking out. It's free, open source, and offers so many features like email filtering, customizable themes, and reliable privacy and security options like encryption and anti-phishing. You can set up multiple email accounts, organize everything with tags, folders, or filters, and even add extra features like calendars and advanced search with add-ons. It also has smart folders that automatically sort your emails based on your rules. Plus, Thunderbird works smoothly with services like Gmail and Outlook. One major difference from Gmail is that Thunderbird stores all your emails locally, so you can access them offline. It's a great option if you want more privacy and flexibility in how you manage your emails. Thunderbird's interface is simple, clean, and easy to use, even if you're not into tech. It uses a three-pane layout that makes everything clear. Your folders, like inbox, sent, and custom ones you create are on the left. Your list of emails is in the middle, and the content of the email you're reading shows up on the right or bottom. What's great is that Thunderbird uses tabs, just like a web browser, so you can open multiple emails, searches, or even a calendar in separate tabs and switch between them easily without losing anything. The search bar is really powerful too. You can find emails quickly by typing in keywords, and there are advanced filters to help you narrow things down when your inbox is packed. If you like personalizing things, Thunderbird lets you change the look with themes and install add-ons to add features like calendars, to-do lists, or advanced email tools. Plus, it's well-organized. Everything feels easy to navigate, and you can set up rules and filters to automatically sort your emails into folders. Whether you're into a simple setup or want something more personalized, Thunderbird can work the way you like. Now, let's talk about the features. Thunderbird keeps things simple but powerful, focusing on giving you control over your inbox without all the unnecessary extras. Here's what makes it stand out. Thunderbird offers a wide range of themes, from clean and minimalist to bright and bold designs. You can choose from pre-made themes or even download new ones created by other users. Plus, Thunderbird gives you control over other aspects of your inbox, such as fonts, colors, and icons. It's all about allowing you to truly make the app feel like yours. Gmail, on the other hand, keeps it simple. You can pick from a small selection of backgrounds or upload your own photo. But the customization options stop there. It's more about adding a personal touch without changing the layout or overall feel of the inbox. If you're tired of sifting through a crowded inbox, Thunderbird's filters do all the heavy lifting for you. Whether it's sorting work emails or family updates, you can set up filters to automatically sort your emails into the right folders so you don't have to do it manually every time. Though Gmail's filtering works, but Thunderbird gives you more options to really customize how things are organized. In Thunderbird, you can fully manage your emails even when you're offline. This means you can compose new emails, organize your inbox by moving messages around or creating folders, and read emails that you've already downloaded, all without an internet connection. This is super useful when you're traveling, in a place with spotty internet, or just don't want to rely on being connected all the time. Gmail, on the other hand, also has an offline mode. To use it, you need to set it up first, enabling offline access through the Gmail settings, and you can only access emails that have already been synced. With Thunderbird, your email data is stored locally on your device by default, 
not in the cloud. That gives you more control over your information. You only upload or sync your data to the cloud if you decide to. Gmail is secure, but stores your data on Google servers in the cloud, which can raise privacy concerns for some people. What I love about Thunderbird is that it lets you take full control over how it works. You can install all sorts of add-ons that bring in extra tools like a calendar or some productivity tools like a task manager, notes, a file manager, and so on. Basically, you can shape it into the email experience you've always wanted. Gmail is pretty user-friendly with all its built-in features, and it syncs well with Google Workspace, but it's not as flexible when it comes to customizing. Thunderbird makes it easy to manage all your email accounts in one place, no matter what platform they're from. For example, you can set up your Gmail, Yahoo, Outlook, or work emails and view them together, all without jumping between different apps. Although Gmail also lets you add other accounts, it's still very much centered around Google's workspaces. So if you add a Yahoo or Outlook email, you're still working within Gmail's interface. Thunderbird, though, feels a bit more independent. It doesn't lock you into any one service, giving you a smoother experience across different email providers. Thunderbird is a free and open source email app made by a community of developers who keep it updated and improve it all the time. The best part is you can change things however you want, like how your inbox looks, how emails are sorted, or what extra features you add. It gives you full control and works well with different email accounts. Plus, since it's constantly updated based on real user feedback, it's always getting better. In contrast, Gmail is easy to use and part of Google's system, but it's not as customizable. Google decides what features to add, so you don't have much control over how it works. If you want more freedom, privacy, and the ability to change things up the way you like, Thunderbird could be a better choice for you. Thunderbird does a pretty good job of filtering out junk emails and letting you mark stuff as spam. Plus, it's got some customizable rules, so you can fine-tune how things get sorted. Gmail, on the other hand, does the job of catching spam automatically, and you don't have to do much. But if you're looking for more hands-on control, Thunderbird gives you more options to really fine-tune the process and make sure the junk doesn't slip through the cracks. When it comes to security and privacy, Thunderbird is really reliable in this part. It's all about protecting your data, with features like end-to-end -end encryption and F-privacy-focused settings. So, no matter what emails you're sending or receiving, you can feel pretty secure. Now, Gmail does have strong security too, like two-factor authentication and secure connections. But remember, they're collecting data to serve you ads and improve services. So if privacy is your top concern, Thunderbird is definitely the choice because it doesn't track you or serve up ads. Thunderbird runs pretty smoothly and it doesn't slow down, even when you've got so many emails piling up. It's reliable and the best part is you can adjust its settings to customize the settings as per your needs. Compared to Gmail, which is pretty seamless too, Thunderbird's more lightweight. It doesn't rely on the cloud, so your emails are stored locally, meaning you can access them even without an internet connection. Gmail's got some nice accessibility features, but it's just a little more flexible if you need that extra control. When it comes to integrations, Thunderbird takes a different approach. It doesn't come with built-in features like Gmail does, but it gives you the freedom to add whatever you need through extensions and add-ons. If you want to sync with another calendar, here's an add-on for that. Need a task manager to stay on top of things? You can add that too. It's all about personalizing your experience and choosing the tools that actually work for you. Gmail, however, is deeply integrated into the Google platform, so if you use a lot of Google services like Drive, Docs, or Calendar, it just works together. But if you like to pick and choose your own tools, Thunderbird lets you have the freedom to integrate what you need, exactly how you want it. So, if you've never tried a desktop email client before, this is your sign to give it a shot. You won't regret it. What do you think about Thunderbird? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell icon so you never miss a new upload.